Um, I did a di- <clears throat> I did a different like pregame routine, but I did not see it coming though. But you know, so I really just like thank my teammates, you know, just for giving me giving me open, and, you know, putting me in a position to uh, score for sure. What'd you do different? <laughs> um, I always like I- I've been reading proverbs, you know, but I had lift. I actually did a lift with Coach Charlie before the game, so I feel like that helped a little, you know, get my body warm for sure. Uh, maybe, maybe. I might, I might do it like Lily for sure. When, when you have the drive going like you did, because you got like three old-fashioned three-point plays, mm-hmm. uh, does that open up the outside shot? Yeah, because, you know, they start depending. They start, like, expecting me to drive, and then I have the three-point shot, you know, way more often than I normally do. So I take advantage of that for sure. Jacoby, you had a uh, slightly less old-fashioned four-point play today. <laughs> Uh, somebody that was here last year that you might know pretty well, Keontae, he had plenty of those. Yeah. I mean, is that just – have you been, always been able to kind of keep composure like that? Um. Yeah, I'd say it's – I think I probably got my first four-point play last year. And um, I guess this game, uh, they just kept closing out hard. I like to sell it, so I just fell. And they were just going in today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jake, I know it's only four games in, but four games in eight days. Um, I learned I learned about our toughness and how we face adversity. You know, we didn't we didn't complain. We just came out and played. You know, we didn't complain in practice. We still competed. So you know, I just like to thank them for that. You know, and then coach always you know talk to us about joy. So just playing for Jesus. You know, you can't fail playing for Him. You always playing your hardest and playing for your others and then playing for yourself. Lastly, for sure. Kobe, was there a concerted effort to shoot? outside shot as a team, you know, after? Oh, after our poor performance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, I think uh, in practice we just got a lot of reps up, um, and Coach just told us, like, just step up, make the shot. This is what we do. We all put the work in. And uh, after we saw a couple go in, everybody got the confidence, confidence built up. And um, the more we cheered each other on, the more shots that fell. Yeah. Jason, did you realize you had scored 14 in a row for your team in the middle of the first time? For real? It hit different. Yeah, I did not know that. You 14 in a row is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. In a row? You over- That's crazy. It, I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't know. That's crazy. What was that like when uh, Austin Sachs? Man, it's probably the happiest. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, like. I love that. I love yeah, that. Was, that was good energy. Yeah. Uh, we called the play on the, um, yeah. on the bench for him, and he knocked it down. Yeah, we had Coach change the play. Out of bounds play. He called something else. We told him to call a box three for something. So, yeah. Do you guys think you needed him in that 0 for 9 performance? Yes. Probably. Sachs 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 he do be hitting in practice. Yeah, Sachs do. definitely would have knocked it down. I he do lie. his shots in practice. Not going to lie. He hit threes. How much will y'all enjoy this, this break? Enjoy it. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy it for sure. For sure taking advantage recovery, of this. Recovery. Yeah, uh, rest. Recovery. Look at the film. Get back to it our next game. Yeah. I did not think my body would feel like this. <laughs> yeah. so I agree with you. From morning games to night games, it's crazy, sir. So. Yeah. yeah. Jacoby, obviously Big 12 Player of the Week, kind of how, how does that play into your performance and how, how cool is that to become the first player in Baylor program history to win that as a freshman? Uh, you know, it was cool. Uh, I didn't even know I won it. My mom told me. But um, I try not to focus on it going to the game. You know, I hear it. Uh, my teammates tell me about it. But – I just try to ignore it because I know that at the end of the day we got bigger goals than that. Just that little accolade, I'm I'm blessed to get it, but uh, I'm just trying to focus on the future and uh, just accept that award and just keep going. Jaden, the win, even the all-time series record of four to four, does it feel like a big rivalry win? Four to four? <laughs> four to four all time. Nah. <laughs> you said it was a rivalry win. Uh, it didn't feel like it. <laughs> it didn't feel like it. <laughs> Well, first, uh, great night for Baylor uh, basketball. Uh, the women beat a top five team. Great game, great environment. That got us uh, excited, ready to go, but really excited for the women's staff. And then um, you get someone makes a, a long putt, and that's 5,000. And then 
and then we win. That's a trifecta. So the only bad thing is uh, uh, if you have to get up early tomorrow, you don't get the home run. So um, I'm praying my wife's taking the kids tomorrow and I get to sleep in. We played four, I think, in eight days, seven days. So uh, uh, now we get one day off and we can start to work on some things we got to get better at. Uh, the, the biggest highlight was Austin Sachs after three years finally got a bucket. So uh, he got the, uh, the cold shower in the locker room, and that was really exciting to see the guys be excited for him. Scott, uh, James said the bench wanted to – to run that play for Austin. Yeah, it, bench, bench, uh, they get the assist. They did a great job calling that out. Uh, we run something else, and they, they came up with that one, and that was that was money. So uh, they might start giving more advice now. <laughs> Scott, you can kind of see Jalen and, and Josh like stand up before they even inbound it. Like, he, like they knew Austin was going to make that. Does he really make that many in practice where you're like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's 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 a good shooter in practice, but it's tough sitting the whole game and then come out and, and shoot a three, and uh, hence why it's taken three years. So, <laughs> but but uh, uh, everyone is uh, every time. I think was it the game ago where he had two opportunities or th John Brown? Yeah. I mean, so it is it, a matter of time. I'm glad it was uh, uh, tonight, and uh, glad we all got to celebrate with him. No, uh, um, I, I think I think uh, uh, the guys spent uh, more time, and in practice we spent more time shooting. And I think we we know our guys are better shooters than than we've shown. But when you play a lot of games in a short period of time, um, legs go, and when legs go, uh, it is harder to shoot. And I thought we had better legs tonight. And guys getting used to this is the second time now we played after a day off, so that's good. Uh, Jaden is, uh, I tell you what, when, uh, uh, Jaden gets going, um, uh, he's really hard to, uh, keep in front and, uh, does a great job. It, one of the best guards we've had at getting to the free throw line and getting contact. And, uh, when, when he's making shots, then he's even that much harder to guard. And, uh, I know last year he shot 40% from three and, We'd love for it to be the same number or higher this year because it, it's tough to guard a guy who can do two things. You said he didn't even realize he was going 14 points in a row there in that stretch in the first half. What does that say when a guy's on the stretch like that where you didn't realize it? Well, I, I, it, first, his teammates did a great job getting him the ball. And second of all, uh, 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 he did a great job letting the game come to him because I don't think any of those shots were bad shots during that time. And so often you see a guy – make a couple buckets and then it's the legendary heat check and they throw up trash and uh he he did a great job in uh, staying within the game scott third time four games that you've gotten over 30 free throws in a game yeah. is that the point of emphasis this year is the block charge rule change kind of come into play there that definitely helps this team and helps us and i think uh uh from our scrimmages and times we've had officials, this team gets to the free throw line a lot. So hopefully that's something that uh, uh, is able to continue because uh, when you're making 77% of them, that's a big advantage. And and we shot pretty well from the free throw line. I know uh, uh, Eve was a little frustrated tonight with his free throws, but uh, he's got a couple days to work on them. Well, again, J Jacoby uh, has 23, and it's not like you're running every play for him. He just lets the game come to him. And uh, I think I, I think everybody's starting to settle down a little bit. Um, this is the third home game and a little more uh, routine, rhythm. Uh, we've joked anytime, anywhere, because our games have been all over as far as time-wise. But I, I know our guys uh, – the good thing of playing uh, 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 scrimmages is you can play longer than 40 minutes, and you can you can you can try different things. The bad news is you don't play in front of a crowd. So I always think it takes a couple games to get used to playing in front of a crowd. And I thought our guys were a lot more relaxed tonight. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you guys. Thank